Kendra is a little on the quiet side. She talked early. She walked early. She did everything early. We tried to get her involved in as much as we could. I was going between all the sports and just finding something I actually like to do. She tried soccer, gymnastics, and we kind of settled on swimming. She's kind of took to it like a fish. Really started to excel as a swimmer and really take heart to wanting to be good and be good at what she was doing. So she was always active and always playful and a lot of fun. Kendra on Friday morning started getting sick. We thought she had the flu, you know, she's throwing it up. Monday came, took her to her pediatrician's office. The pediatrician's like, I think she's dehydrated. So took her to the ER. And at that point, the doctor saw something that he didn't like and things went downhill really, really quick. It's not dehydration, it's cardiac failure. So they like, well, we need a life flight her up to Cleveland Clinic, we don't have the facilities, but you guys can't come with us. We have to take the full team. They said there's a 50-50 chance. I had about an hour and a half drive, not knowing what had happened, what was happening. We got there and that was when we met Dr. Boyle. Kendra first arrived at the Children's Hospital in cardiogenic shock. Her heart was failing. There was really no medical therapy that we could use to keep her going. So we had to put her on a heart transplant list. Here in this area, the Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital is the only facility to offer that. When patients are as sick as Kendra, any bodily function puts an additional strain on the heart that may have the heart fail even further. So in order to make her in the best possible shape for the transplant, we assist with a medically induced coma. So we give all of those other organs a rest. The surgery itself is relatively simple. It's hard to imagine that we can call heart transplantation relatively simple. But for families in that situation, it is life-changing. The surgery lasted the entire night. The longest, toughest night I think I've ever been through in my life. She came out of the operating room, the heart functioned immediately. She was in a good place. I just remember being really sick and then waking up in a hospital bed. So after the transplant surgery, she had a long road to recovery. The saying, use it or lose it, is very real. And when you are lying in a hospital bed waiting for a heart transplant, you lose a lot of muscle mass. At that point, courage kicks in. When we moved to the rehabilitation place, she um, wasn't walking yet. Whenever I did, I would slowly slump down and just begin to fall over. One of the things we use for kids is a rehabilitation pool at the Children's Hospital for rehab. Aqua therapy relieves the body of having to deal with gravity. It makes it a little less scary, a little less work appearing for these kids. So the pool was something that she actually looked forward to. She seemed to enjoy it. She actually called it the fun hospital. Swimming healed both her body, uh, but more importantly, her mind. It just really, really helped her. She took a lot of time off from a lot of things. I think I really wanted to get back onto a swim team and have fun with my friends again. She got in the pool and it was like, oh yeah, this I can do this. And it just really helped with her confidence. I've gotten to see her really come into the sport of swimming. She kind of got the fire to, to want to compete. She was one of our only children to participate in the transplant games that were hosted here in Cleveland this past summer. To see all these people competing against each other, it was just amazing. It was like a secret club she was able to be a part of. Once you get it, you get it. And it's like she got it at the transplant games. I mean, she had the best times I've ever seen her do in it. I got gold medals in breaststroke and butterfly. Just looking back on what she had gone through, we were ecstatic and, and so proud of her comeback. Courage is a kid like Kendra, a child who wakes up with an incision down the front of their chest and says, okay, I'll do this. And is demonstrated daily in their lives when they move on and just be kids. She has overcome a lot and I could not be more proud of her. You know, she's a kid that continued to uh, live with what she has day by day. But through it all, she has courage. Courage is not giving up and believing in yourself. Mm -hmm.